vlog. Well, I say good morning, it's really just about lunchtime. I have a very beige lunch in the oven. You guys have already seen quite a bit of my morning. I've been so good already. I got up early, did a little bit of reading in bed, which was divine and something I really need to bring into all of my morning routines from here and out. I then got up and did some Pilates. So my Apple Watch is absolutely delighted that I already have the ring closed before 12 p.m. But that kind of brings us to now where I have got yet another cup of tea. And I'm just realizing that this vlog needs an intro where I actually chat to the camera rather than just vlogging my workout and how cute my dogs are. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but ever since like October, November, I've just kind of been feeling crappy, just pretty down a lot of the time, very easily overwhelmed, which is not the time you want it considering I graduate in like, this is March, so like three months. Well, there's no graduations, but you know what I mean. It really needs to be like, in the marathon whenever you've saved your energy for the final push but it feels more like i used all my energy in the first half and i'm really struggling to get over the finish line but we will get there that's not the point of this video this video is to do a big self-care day and just to cheer myself up you know i hope by watching this it can cheer you up too because we all need an extra little bit of cheer in our lives right now definitely the weather and spring was providing a little bit of cheer but it is really gray today so that kind of cuts out i was going to have this cup of tea and journal and read outside no thanks it looks like it's gonna rain at any moment so thank you Ireland for your wonderful weather as always I just thought it would be really fun to kind of move aside all of the tasks and just do some fun things rejuvenate myself and just cheer myself up in general because it's definitely gonna make me perform better in the rest of the week and just in general so far waking up early reading and doing a workout has just absolutely smashed it and I am feeling pretty good tea definitely helps also and I've sat down, I am going to do like a proper journaling sesh. I might do it like now because I, I have been very lax in my journaling. So a proper journal sesh is needed. I briefly wrote down what I'm grateful for today. And I just thought that'd be really fun to share rather than just to keep it in my head, you know? Sharing things we're grateful for is always so nice for everyone. Okay, i no rambling. Also, isn't this notebook like the cutest thing ever? Um, it's from Papi Eggs and Papi Ho. But my friend Healy got it for me. And that was the first thing I'm grateful for. I love this notebook so much, Healy. If you're watching this, it is such a perfect gift. And it's so me, like, the yellow, the blue, the plants. It makes me very happy before I've even written in my journal just to see it and open it. But okay, more things I'm grateful for. So obviously with the current situation, I am very grateful for mine and my family's health. Like we're all fine. Myself and a few others are high risk, but like touch wood. We have all been completely fine this whole pandemic so very very grateful for that we haven't even so much as had like a cold which has been wonderful i'm also grateful for my curly hair i have poker straight hair like it is actually ridiculous but as you can see from my kind of workout earlier i washed my hair last night and slept with plaits in it so these beautiful curls are here and i'm definitely feeling so happy because of them starting a new book as a big book nerd, this one's kind of self-explanatory because it is just so much fun to sink into a new story and move on from another one. Um, I just love it so much. Currently reading Where'd You Go Bernadette, which I have no idea what to expect from it. Fun Carly on YouTube recommended it. I love her booktube channel, so it was on offer and I had to pick it up. I'm grateful for tea. I don't know if I need to say much more about that, but just so good. I am pretty proud of this one because this is a real negative in my life right now that I've managed to switch into positive. So my car insurance renewal is coming up and man, that is so expensive. It's a metal box that I push with pedals and the car insurance is like extortion. No thank you. It is especially crushing my soul because I sit and look at like vlogging cameras and like video cameras and things like that and I'm going, I could have easily bought you with the same price and paying just to have insurance on my little metal box. Yeah. But enough of the negative. We're gonna move in positive. Um my positive is that I've been thriving healthy and safely for over a year. I passed my test just before the pandemic last year, right at the beginning of March. Um so I'm very, very lucky that I was able to get through my test because I know a lot of people have had theirs pushed back and pushed off just because of like COVID restrictions, which is like completely understandable. I would not want to be getting in a car for two hours with a face mask on to do driving lessons. That's my idea of hell. Driving lessons were bad enough without COVID restrictions. I have been driving 
for a year and that's such a privilege and something I'm very grateful for. So yeah, I'm gonna be more grateful for that than paying the car insurance. I am also making progress on my thesis. Obviously, this is not an entire dissertation diaries, but coming soon. But we will work a little bit on it later because I really need to get stuff done. I'm currently working on like a really small segment of it, which like I couldn't make a whole dissertation diaries on like this tiny little section running through everything. So we'll sort that today, be a little bit productive as well as fun things. And finally, um, I am grateful for just being here and vlogging and chatting to you guys. And the fact that you guys leave such kind and supportive comments, like I sit and read them and I show them off to my family and my boyfriend and I'm like, oh my God, these people have taken time out of their day to say such nice things to me and it really means the world. More than you guys know, they just really, they make my heart so happy and fill me with so much joy. But yes, I am going to now go and finish this tea. And in the means of like fun things and cheering myself up, I'm eating like baby snacks, if you can see them. They are like fruit smiles and they have those little faces on them, which I am very much here for. So they're just so cute. I think this might be the most beige lunch in all of existence. Like, we have alphabetty bites and some hot and spicy corn nuggets. These are amazing. <laughs> this lunch is extremely beige on like a yellow plate as well. It just all looks one color. It's going to be delicious and I'm going to enjoy it thoroughly. And let's be real, what is going to cheer you up more than like alphabetty bites? Um, I did transform my name. They had no E, so. Louise was a bus. They also didn't have a U, but kind of said the V in there, but I didn't take any content of it because it just looked absolutely atrocious. So you can just know your hearts. I, of course, tried to spell my name with the alphabet bites, but I'm not going to devour them with some Parks and Rec, which is an amazing smile combo. <laughs> I'm also realizing I never showed you guys like my entire outfit. We are going for big, cute and cozy outfits today. So this is a ridiculously old t-shirt from Abercrombie & Fitch and these babies. These are like the highlight of the show. I got them new from Monkey. So they are like literally just sweatpants. But I'll try and get a better angle in a minute because they're just kind of like wide leg sage green sweatpants. They look so much nicer and put together than just sweatpants. And I'm living for it. Whenever we go back to normality and we're wearing like actual real people clothes, I will be wearing these babies. They are just too cute. And yes, I also am wearing cat socks because they're so cute and they make me smell. I love my little cat socks and my super cute sweats. Okay, I've just been here chilling, getting into this book more than I thought I would. It started off very YA, kind of like protagonist is a lot younger than I thought and I have not read a lot of YA in a long time so I didn't know how I felt about it. Yeah, B is 15 and I kind of thought she was like going to university so like 18 type of thing but there is a good mystery and I'm really enjoying it I'm like quarter of the way through. But we have to put Bernadette down for a little bit which I am not too happy about because I need to work on my thesis. My thesis is due in like just over a month actually. My thesis is due in exactly one month. This is 23rd of March and it's due on the 23rd of April. Ooh, ooh, not a fan. Do not like that one bit. But that definitely makes it even more important that I work on it right now. As I said earlier, Dissertation Diaries Part 2 coming soon, but this is just a tiny little section. If any of you guys write research papers, it's just the methods section. So, um, this absolutely ridiculously boring little segment just has to be written. So that if anybody else potentially wanted to do my study, they would have absolutely everything to replicate it. So like all the participants, each and every material we use, the procedure of like how shit went down. It's mind numbing, really, but that means it isn't too complicated to do. It's just gathering all the details and writing them out. So <sighs> it's what I'm up to this afternoon. The least fun activity of the day, but I will definitely feel cheered up whenever I've made progress on it. But considering it is so completely unfun and it's gonna make me down rather than cheer me up, I have some chocolate. This Nomo? Nomo caramel and sea salt chocolate bar. It is just, it's just it. Like I can't believe I've been sleeping on Nomo for so long because you girl is a hoe for anything like dairy free and dairy free chocolate. Like exactly up my street. I'm gonna try and bite into this, but it's been in the fridge and it's so thick. So let's see. Oh, we got there. Um, 
It was really delicious. Let's go do some thesis work. t-shirt after the pit stop to see in sprees but I got some flowers like look how cute they are you know it is spring whenever there's some beautiful bright tulips also like insert some Lizzo here because I get myself flowers every Sunday I'm gonna marry me one day like we stand buying our own flowers energy and they're just so nice and they're so pretty I also bought way too many smacks which I'm gonna sit in the bar with my boyfriend right now so that this day's not over but it's been really amazing as a big fun cheer myself up day and I got some work done too so it's really really been good but I'm gonna sit eat some snacks chill with these flowers and I'll see you guys later <laughs> If I am one thing that is consistent, if there's any form of self-care, cheer myself up, any of those kind of happy vlogs, there's 100% going to be a skincare segment. So it's exactly what we're at right now. I put up a poll on my Instagram stories yesterday just I was feeling a little bit of funk and it was kind of what inspired me to film this vlog in the first place and that was um I put a little like question box on my stories and got people to send in things, things to cheer you up, make you feel happy because I'm a little bit sad and overwhelmed, which still is the mood. Yeah, one of the things was to do like a full step skincare routine because I still feel like I'm taking care of myself in a different non-uni related way. I, I loved that so much that I was like, here, we're busting out the full skincare. I had some makeup on today to, you know, feel cute for this video for you guys. I have felt, I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now, I'm like, I have felt hot as hell today, but um, yes, that means I need to use the Body Shop Chamomile, kind of like some form of like balm. I don't actually know exactly what it is. Then double cleanse and my regular cleanser and I'm gonna do a quick face mask because why the hell not? <laughs> Let's melt this makeup off my face. Okay, the makeup is off my face but Double cleanse time. This Lizerol cleanse and polish is literally my holy grail. It is my favorite face cleanser ever. It is really good at taking makeup off. If I didn't have the body shop on, this would be the first step of my makeup removing routine. But for now, it's just my double cleanse because I do use it absolutely every night. It smells so good, is so calming and relaxing. It just feels amazing like Look at that. I'm also just obsessed with the packaging. Like the duck egg blue is just right up my street. You can get it in like a little bottle where you just like pump it out, but I got one of the bigger like squeezy bottles for Christmas and it is so nice. It just smells amazing. Um, I'm actually gonna try and read the bottle to see what's on it. Cleanse and polish, hot cloth cleanser, naturally active ingredients. Ooh. Okay, so we have rosemary, chamomile, cocoa butter, and eucalyptus essential oil. How fancy is all this stuff I'm putting on my face? Cleanses and gently exfoliates for smoother, clearer skin. We stand. I know they do sponsor influencers because I watch a Lucy Moon sponsor video by them, so like. Liz, honey, you watching? Do you wanna like? I'd be a good brand rep for you, I promise. I've heard really good things that Liz will do, like a, I am gonna butcher the pronunciation of this, but it's like a Sika, Sika, I can't remember, but it's like an overnight kind of like deep moisturizer slash face mask. Put it on, leave it overnight, wake up in the morning and wash it off, but it's really good for kind of like clearing and working on skin. So it sounds exactly up my street and I did debate buying it for a while, but as a broke student, that is not it. They're not necessarily pricey, but they are like a little bit more expensive than your kind of like regular skincare brands, the ordinary survey type of thing. They're like a little bit more spendy, 100% worth it, but yeah, we have another Louise staple right now. This is honestly like, is there any point to making you guys a nighttime routine? I already go through it on all my skincare vlogs. But we have another vlog featuring a mask of my nudity. This shit's just so good. Like I have routinely used this for like years. I've got my mom obsessed. I have used it on my boyfriend, but he is not a face mask fan. He has a really good beard. Bits of face mask kind of caught in the beard and that was just not for him. He was just not happy watching that. It took so long. It was unreal, but also like, I mean, whether it's a relationship or just someone you know, like what is it about like 
one person having like a full in-depth skincare routine like morning and night cleanse if i have makeup double cleanse serums moisturizers toners the whole shebang i am a mild skincare addict my boyfriend basically just rinses his face with water under the shower the moisturizer just water and the man has better skin than me how do they do it? It is so grossly unfair. Do you think I want to spend this amount of money on skincare? I probably actually do. It's a really fun hobby to be into, especially the ordinary stuff. Like it's so sciencey and this science nerd right here is all down for a little bit of extra kind of scientific knowledge and products. And if that's fine about skincare, I'm here for it. I'm rambling about my skincare products and how I'm so jealous of my boyfriend's non-existent skincare routine. Um, but we're just gonna chill, let this face mask sit for a few minutes, then wipe it off get back in the bed and read for a little bit more I'm feeling. I'm gonna turn my camera off whenever this is drying this time because the last time I put a face mask on and kind of like vibed out with the camera uh, I got a copyright claim for using Billy Joel music. Slightly awkward, very glad I'm not monetized so that's not an actual issue like it flashes up on my YouTube studio it's like urgent urgent copyright claim um but then you click on it and it's like there's nothing that we done don't make money that doesn't matter that you use their songs i'm not gonna risk it so i'm gonna jam to harry styles in peace and you're just gonna have to imagine it so see you guys soon as you can see this is next day louise enjoying a beautiful chai latte because um the mixture of being so calmed after my face mask and then getting in bed and just devouring more of my book and very nearly finished i kind of forgot to vlog <laughs> i woke up in an absolute panic at about like 2 a.m like oh my god i didn't finish that vlog obviously half asleep me with a retainer in my mouth is not gonna finish it so i'm up today some space buns on makeup again i'm feeling cute and as you can tell yesterday's vlog really did cheer me up i'm feeling so much better today and it's all thanks to filming this fun stuff and having a great time with you guys so thank you so much for cheering me up and for coming along with me and i'll see you guys next week